Hi guys and welcome to another episode of the Road to Glory Wager Showdowns Brazil. In the last episode we managed to get um, a nice addition of D Douglas Costa at Cam and also uh, Pato. So uh, even though we did lose a team of the uh, Thiago Silva wager, we are back on form and uh, looking for some more wins. Now Joan Jesus has been in the series already but we're going to go for him for the first one today. Now if any of you guys want new team coins to purchase such players he's here on the team or even on the bench, make sure you check out one fifa.com their link can be found down below in the description for some fast and uh, reliable coins also use the code Bateson to get five percent off your purchases even in the msp psn codes or cheap game codes as well make sure you check out g2a.com their link can also be found down there and if you can smash over three thousand likes that'll be class so in the last week's episodes i was asking you lot about um possible uh, changes to the game goalkeeping being one and your feedback was insane especially with the custom set pieces I was asking so wager matches are a very quiet underground type of thing with EA they don't like to put, out, uh, uh, put anything about them out there um, and they can be seen as dodgy as fuck which is true because a lot of things I know about wager matches and within the community itself there is a lot of dirty shit which goes on but thankfully you've got me out there who's uh, sort of doing things correctly and uh, getting everyone paid up and uh, obviously getting a lot of coins off a lot of people when I do beat them so 3-1 already in this match and it got terrible for him so with that we do extend the lead to uh, to 4 1 using the, the, the leap of Pato and getting his head on the ball yet again. Now, if any of you guys are looking for wager matches on Ultimate Team for real money, make sure you go and check out the gamersaloon.com. Their link can be found down below as well. On there, I will be doing some Team of the Season card wagers, uh, tournament wagers. So if you want to be entered into that, make sure you go and check them out. There's loads of other YouTubers doing them like Rossi HD and also Finch. So if you want a chance to play us for some Team of the Season cards, make sure you go and check out the link down below. So he pulls it back to 4-3 and then the game finishes. That was the rest of the game. We did dominate, but somehow he managed to get three goals and uh, he still lost anyway. So we do get the upgrade of Joan. Uh, upgrading our defence to a full gold. And we with that, Nilton, who seems to be not pulling what... Well, with Nilton, I looked at his card. He looked awesome. His long shots looked awesome. And then I actually put him into the team, and he was massive. Now, someone who's big... Uh, like, Well, I'm big anyway, but someone who's big on the game of FIFA is very difficult to manoeuvre with and when you're the orchestrator in the centre of midfield you need someone who's very slick good at passing and that's why we are going for Fernandinho to get the upgrade of Fernandinho now you will have recognised this team from an episode last week we did offer the guy a rematch Jesse Rodriguez Malapa SY and also Kirchhoff very dangerous players and he did make an error because within one minute I knew he was bringing his new gold goalkeeper on and we do take a long shot with Pato giving us a 1-0 lead from a distant shot as well and after that he did bring on a new gold goalkeeper I wasn't sure who it was, I might have been better check, it might have been Neuer uh, I think it was Czech actually, uh, but some nice trickery there from our attacking player does put us 2-0 to the good and uh, unfortunately I let him get through with some other top three balls and terrible judgment and timing does make it 2-1 in 11 minutes, a lot of goals scored uh, early on in the game and it was not going to stop there either, I, I must have told you that because Pato extends it there from a distant shot from outside the area uh, in the 18 minutes, this was a ridiculous game the game I played with the guy last time was very quick and uh, very low goal scoring. But 4-1 before half time, it could only get worse. And just after half time, uh, we do manage to make it 5-1. And this game will have been pissing this guy off. But not as much as this. Goalkeeper, yet again, making a stupid automated clearance, headed it straight to his attacker. Even though I'm quite a few goals up, that type of feature in in, in the game is just really annoying. But uh, in the dying minutes, we do extend the lead there. Wellington finessing it uh, past the goalkeeper uh, to 6-2. And then, yet again, in the dying moments of the game, uh, it is extended. A ball flicked over to Marais, who... Uh, puts it in and 7-2 the result stands so with that victory we do get Fernandinho into the team and uh, hopefully he'll be able to change a lot of things about the way I play uh, and the way I defend because he's quite a defended, uh, defensive minded player so as you can tell by the thumbnail and stuff we are going for Ronaldinho the god a lot of people rate him R9 right 
Rai loves him and I love him as well. He may be slow, but he's a legend in everyone's eyes. His skills, and I really hope that he joins the team and does put some flag goals back into it. Because even though we are upgrading to goals, there is a lot of five-star skillers disappearing out of the team. And if we do get him in, uh, the replacement of Elton will have been a positive one. So the opponent we play is uh, McCormack. Yes, team of the season McCormack, Darren Fletcher, Kagawa, Gerard, Walker, Cliche, Kabul. And uh, also Zuma, very solid defence. That is a, a class team. And this guy took the lead really early on with a volley from Kebe. And with this team, guys, um, he was just hoofing the ball up. I had nothing I could do. I spent more, most of the game attacking him. But unfortunately, I just could not break the doors down until the 22nd minute when the ball does finally drop to uh, Alexandra Pato, who bangs it into the back of the net. But his hoof clearance and counter-attacking style of play kept ripping me to bits. It was very fucking annoying. My defence pushed forward there, leaving him free. And McCormack puts it past my goalkeeper. 2-1. And I kept pushing. I'm pushing, I'm pushing, nothing happened. After the time, as you can see, his counter-attack and defence is all over the shop. And a nice chop and a shot, uh, well, straight a pass, straight to his uh, player who smacks it first time and puts it in. That was a great first time shot. And unfortunately, guys, that's another loss to the series. So even though he had four shots, four and goal, he was clinical and walks away with the wager. And that does give us a downgrade back to Elton. So Elton's back in the team. Now, if you guys have enjoyed this, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you are not subscribed. And comment down below uh, what you think uh, we can be upgrading to till the final couple of weeks of the wager showdowns. Until next time, guys, see you all later and have a very nice rest of your day. We are back tomorrow at 9 30, so make sure you check your sub boxes then. And uh, bye bye. Onde você vai?